just going to do a quick review of the uh, M12 tactical bag that I have which I use quite a lot for camping and for travelling and uh, I think it also makes a good bug out bag so I thought I'd just go over it give you a few details about it now the main compartment holds a hundred litres and in there at the minute I've got a three person tent a sleeping bag inflatable uh, sleeping mattress and an inflatable pillow so you can fit all of that just in the main compartment there and there's still room for an extra pair of trousers or a jumper socks whatever you want to put in there then as well as the 100 litre main compartment there are five pockets on the outside which are also quite big now I've got a litre bottle in there and there's still quite a bit of room to spare next to it you could probably fit two litre bottles in there so I'd say there's probably at least another 10 litres capacity in these outer pockets. Now you've got the three along this side here. You can see. And then on each end there's a slightly bigger pocket as well. And on this end there's a bit there where you can put a card with your name and ID or whatever on if you wanted to. I wouldn't recommend that necessarily but you can if you want. It's probably if you go travelling I suppose that's good actually to have your, your name on the bag. And then on the other side there's another pocket. Like I say these two on the end are larger than the three along the side. And on the other side of the bag there aren't any pockets at all which can make the weight a bit uneven but there is a string bit here which you can attach something to. I normally attach uh, a Webtex water bottle pouch that I have it clips on there and these bits go around and it holds on very firmly and securely so it doesn't flop around or anything and it evens out the weight slightly for when it's on your back. Now the bottom of it is waterproof and it's quite a thick rubbery material as well. The whole bag itself is quite thick material. The uh, you can either carry it as a hold all with these two straps here or there are straps where you, so you can wear it as a rucksack. Now uh, I added these little bits here but along these uh, straps there are bits the, where you can clip items that you might need, just small items that you need to get to quickly. And um, unlike other rucksacks that open at the end which I find a bit awkward if something you need slips to the bottom you then have to empty everything out or if you've accidentally put something at the bottom that you need uh, quickly you've got to empty everything out and it's a bit of a pain in the ass but um, because this one opens up in the middle like a hold all you can easily access everything that's inside quite quickly and uh, the zip's quite sturdy and does up securely so it's not going to come undone as you're walking along this bit here is padded as well, so it's not uncomfortable at all on your back. So I actually prefer having a rucksack that opens up like this, far more than the traditional style rucksack. The only problem with it is that it can, because it is reasonably big, it can be a bit clumsy to carry, but that's the same with any rucksack that's 100 litres or more. Now, um, I can't remember what website I got this from, but they are available on eBay. And it was only £30, which I thought was quite cheap, really. Um, I'll probably put a link to the website I got it from on the, on the video once I've uploaded. And um, you can get a version of this for about £6 more, which has uh, a frame on the back with two wheels at the end and an extendable handle. So you can have it the, like a luggage trolley, basically, if you, if you were going to use it for travelling, where you're going to be going to airports and things, which would be a lot more convenient than having it on your back sort of banging about the place and knocking everyone over as you turn around but um for what i'm going to use it for mainly for camping or for, as a bug out bag um it, it's better without the frame even though i was tempted to get that so you've got two options there depending on what you want to use the bag for um there's not really much else i can say about it i think they're only available in black which for me you know you can't go wrong with black but 
you, you, you might want um, something a bit more colourful, I guess, if you're using it for family holidays or something, but I don't see the problem with black. But um, I think it really does make a good bug out bag because of the convenience of it, because it's thick and durable and fits so much in it and just carry every, everything you you would need for a few days on your back in that with easy access. So I definitely recommend it more than a, a regular rucksack. Anyway, I can't really think of anything else I need to say about it because the zips um, do up together. You can padlock it closed if you want. Now I know if someone really wanted to get inside they could just cut through it easily with a knife but it's just a, a, another little thing there you can padlock those zip bits together. So there you have it, it's the uh, M12 tactical bag it's called. It's from a, a police surplus website I think I got it from. Anyway I'll put the link on the video and uh, thanks for watching I hope it's uh, been informative.